And good evening. Developing now, break in the case after a quiet neighborhood in Weston was repeatedly hit by hate. Three teenagers are now under arrest. Two face hate crime charges. Let's get right to Local 10's Terrell Forte live at BSO headquarters with our top story, Terrell. And that news coming down just a short time ago here at the Broward Sheriff's Office headquarters. The accused culprits are all 16 year old boys who apparently live in the very community that they are accused of targeting and they each face serious felonies that could follow them for the rest of their lives. The hate filled graffiti was found on at least three different occasions across Weston throughout October. One of the anti-Semitic attacks happened on Yom Kippur, a solemn Jewish religious holiday. These are hate crimes on the surface. Today, surrounded by a team of detectives, Broward Sheriff Gregory right, Tony announced that three 16-year-old boys are now in custody, accused of spray painting racial slurs and anti-Semitic statements on a children's playground at Hunters Point Park and inside and outside of the bathrooms at the golf course in Weston. I can care less if you are 14, 15, 16, or 38, or 75. We're going to charge you accordingly. And BSO stepped up patrols, collected tips from the public, and scoured surveillance video, which eventually led to the three teens who all lived in the very Weston community they allegedly targeted. They, they are local residents uh, within a community, and the, the problem that we have here, uh, Terrell, is the fact that we can't afford to dismiss these threats. We have to treat every single one of them as it is severe and it is serious. The damage to clean up the mess was in the thousands of dollars. As for a motive, the trio claimed to do it all for attention. Talking to the officers who investigated the individuals and interviewed them, now there's a sentiment of remorse and regret. And now they're talking about that this was supposed to be a joke. This is not a laughing matter. And detectives tell us tonight that all three of these teens have confessed in various degrees to their roles in this crime. They each remain in the juvenile assessment center right now, so it's unclear when they will be allowed to leave. But we do know that the Western community is certainly breathing a sigh of relief that at least these in individuals that police believe are responsible are in custody. Reporting live near Fort Lauderdale, Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.